Sí. On est dans le bout de Canon euh, qui a euh, lancé un, annoncé un partenariat avec Technicolor au niveau de l'utilisation des caméras 5D, 7D avec une nouvelle façon de, de, de régler la couleur, un, un nouveau principe qui s'appelle Sinistyle. Je suis avec Brian de Technicolor qui va nous expliquer tout ça. Hi Brian. Oui, hello. So, we're going to demonstrate today our Technicolor Sinistyle, which is a picture style that Technicolor created based on the fact that we had cinematographers coming to us that had been shooting film, now starting to insert the 5D camera alongside. A good example, Hangover 2 recently shot uh, all on film with a bunch of airplane scenes with the Alexa and Canon 5D. So we're challenged with the fact that we have different media uh, in different color spaces and how do we bring these together so that the overall look, overall experience of the show is consistent. So we approached Canon and started talking about how we could assist them with the cinematographer's use of this camera. And they introduced us to existing curves that are super flat and uh, their filmic curve and said, can you help us out, Technicolor? So Technicolor um, developed these profiles that we put in camera that take that linear curve of this camera and pry a small curve to it so we can actually then manipulate that uh, in, in camera and downstream. So, We're showing a, an onset application of this, but uh, I want to clarify the picture style is in camera. It creates a look and bakes that into your original source file. You can then take that media out, go into Premiere, Apple Color, uh, After Effects, uh, whatever color correction tool you use, or say you are cutting on a show in Montreal, you're welcome to visit Technicolor Montreal and see use of these tools or test these things out through our facility or download this free Cine style on uh, April 30th from the Technicolor.com website. It's a good addition to uh, the, the integration and power you have with Final Cut and these cameras and the use of these tools. And now you get a chance to actually, in a filmic application or a desire to have that look, be able to apply these tools and hopefully get a good experience out of your production. So what is, what is this software that we see here? I also see an iPad next to your, uh, your board here. Does it mean you can use the iPad to control the dials here instead of having a, a full color board? That's correct. We're using the Tangent uh, BK200 Tangent panel here. They also make a product called the Wave. You may have seen it. Um, they also have a free iPad app called uh, VMware, um, which is kind of cool. But it doesn't do you know, everything the panel does. Obviously. Uh, it gives us control over the lift gamma gain and the ability to turn and reset those values. Uh, it's kind of a cool addition to the system, not really necessary. Um, the goal is to expand it out quite a bit so you can do everything on there from there. And it allows the DP to sort of sit back and more focus on his monitors than be so hands on. Um, the system DP Lights is something we've been using for close to five years, primarily again addressing the needs of cinematographers that approached us and said, I'm now having to cut in, say, a Genesis with my film. How do you do that? So we developed a tool that was originally called Digital Printer Lights, which addressed the traditional printer points you would get in a color timing bay. You have a density control for density offset, you have a contrast control, and then you have the ability to say, you know, take out red, add in red. You know, take out green, add in green. You want to make the picture yellow, take out some blue, add in blue. And it's very much a simple, easy to use tool that you can communicate with the DP in their vocabulary. But say they become more sophisticated, they're using some of these tools themselves. Um, you're coming at a, a more educated community, I think, when you get the people that are you know, working in these tools, developing these workflows without a facility, they get quite clever, um, and they want more range. So the system also can concatenate those printer lights into a full-on lift gamma gain color correction tool where you have blacks, mid-tone highlight control, saturation control on your picture, the ability to store up to 10,000 looks so you can see there's a day for night look, you know, combined with, you know, just a, you know, different looks and I'm scanning through there and you can see how the curves are being manipulated. Easy tools to quickly go back to your reference, recall it. 
Um, system is based on the ASC CDL, which is a color decision list uh, to your community. Uh, you all know what an EDL is, and you know back when we were moving products uh, back and forth between different editorial tools, we had problems with lists not matching. Um, finally, people standardized on, let's say, the CMX 3600 list, and we were able to move between these projects. Same concept with a color decision list is that we're able to make it more universal so that you can start something and finish with you know company X, Y, or Z and not just Technicolor. Or you can use these tools, track them through uh, your, your progress, put them into your ALE, and to be able to always come back to your original file um, and then look at the reference here and adjust your color accordingly. So, so where does CineStyle fit in for, let's say, the lone shooter who has a 5D or has a 70? How, how can it en en enhance his workflow if he does everything from home, let's say? Well, the beauty there is that it's an easy to use install application using the 5D user style guide tools for picture style. If you publish the cine style into the camera, this will give you a more dynamic range control over your picture. Again, I do not need onset color. I do not need technicolor. Um, I can now, as an individual shooter, use this to my advantage to take it into my tools from stills to moving picture to use whatever tools I know and feel comfortable with to manipulate. You can get to the same end result, um, but you'll be able to use that. And Cine Style is giving you that dynamic range enhancement over your image. So is it a 5D Mark II only tool or is it uh, available f across the board for DLS DSLRs from Canon? That's a, that's a good question. It runs in both the 1D, 7D and 5D and we have plans to addi uh, create additional looks and profiles so that you know hopefully one day you could call up and say I want uh, a beach bypass look or something specific to a show that you want to reference. That's the plan Canon and Technicolor have from a strategic marketing standpoint. Today it's initially the cine style curve. Excellent. Well, these are really, really exciting tools for uh, for Canon, and I, I, I guess I can speak for everyone to thank Technicolor for you guys to stepping in, helping Canon uh, enhance our workflow and productivity. Thanks a lot, Brian. Well, in the spirit of education, as you started off with the democratization of this information, feel free to reach out to Technicolor Montreal, Pierre Cadu, and people come by for a tour. We're always looking for creative individuals, and this is the community that they come from. Thank you for letting us talk. Very cool. Thank you very much. Thanks. Bye now.